Hi, Kelly. Hey, so AJ. A few minutes late. No, not a problem. How you doing today? Fine. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, take a little bit off the top and kind of make it wild. Okay. I know she got on a new apron. It's a like shop talk. Yeah. We're actually all of the stylists and barbers here are um, going to be more engaged with talking to our clients about colon cancer. My father, he was diagnosed last year with it. Oh, and wow. I I wish I would have known like what are the preventative measures that, you know, could have not what could have caused it. Yeah, I have a father who's got colon cancer right now. He's going out of treatment. If I had known several years ago what I know now, I would have had a colonoscopy much earlier. Yeah, we're actually, we just want to incorporate more so health and wellness into the salon and just get the word out that this is a preventative disease. In salons and having barbers and stylists talk about something as very important topic as that, I think that is very good. It really seems as um, a natural thing for stylists and barbers to be talking about um, health. And because we have such a good relationship with our stylists and barbers and, you know, we end up talking about all kinds of things, it just seems natural. I promise to spread the word about colon cancer. I promise to spread the word about colon cancer. It wasn't until I entered into the beauty salons that I learned everything there was to know within the community. I mean, I learned the latest in fashion. I learned, you know, what was going on in entertainment. Uh, I talk to my clients about everything. Sports, politics, gossip in the area. I learned about the president campaign. Two lovely ladies came down to my office, Mary Lou and Angie. Actually, they called me one day. Then they came to my shop in Charleston and we spoke about how can we get more awareness out in the community about, you know, about colon cancer. I mean, you educate uh, a group of, of folk who are key influencers in our communities, they are the cornerstones in our community, and you educate them about something as serious as colorectal cancer, and I guarantee you the message will be spread. In African American salons and barbershops, it tends to be a place where we talk about everything. It's a good model and it works, and the stylist is somebody we trust. Most of my clients I consider, I don't really consider them clients, they're more like friends and family. I think my initial reaction was, let me think how that could work. Shop Talk is fabulously unique. We are finding out, and in fact, uh, the American College of Gastroenterology is one of the lead organizations that has reduced the recommended screening age for African Americans to age 45. We find that their cancers appear to be more aggressive and that they do develop earlier. It has become one of the leading causes of death for cancer among African Americans at a disproportionate rate than with other population groups. And again, it's a preventable disease, which is what makes that so, you know, really something that's that's horrific. I think that anything that creates awareness, uh, no matter how unique it is, which I think this is wonderfully unique, uh, no matter how we can reach the population that is at risk, to get those individuals educated and aware and screened, uh, then we really are going to make the inroads on reducing the burden of this cancer. I promise to get screened for colon cancer. I promise to spread the word about colon cancer. Ten years ago, my husband passed away with colorectal cancer as a young man. Um, at the time, we didn't know anything about it. Um, we weren't aware of any of the symptoms or signs of colon cancer. And to this day, we often wonder what would have happened if we had known and he had been screened for colorectal cancer. Well, I am a colorectal cancer survivor of 13 years. So, you know, the Shop Talk program is exciting because, again, I think it's an opportune moment for the stylist and the client to talk about prevention and and healthy lifestyles. I always say I'm the nosy stylist. I'm on your hair and in your scalp looking at what's checking you out. And then, you know, I'm a hair doctor first. And, you know, I love the people that I deal with and I care about them. And of course, they, they, make, they pay my, my bills. So I gotta make sure I stay on top of what's going on in their, in their lives. One of the things that I learned in, um, by working with Shop Talk is branding yourself as a um, cancer-friendly salon and putting that information out there so individuals will know that, you know, if you're losing your hair or you have a specific problem related to cancer, that you can come in and you can actually talk with us and we can give you 
our best advice as the avenues for you to take with your hair. Cancer Friendly Salons was actually a slogan that I came up with uh, during our educational um, sessions uh, throughout the state. And Cancer Friendly Salon is just making sure that for people or clients that come in that do have colon cancer, um, you know, you actually are very specific to their needs. My personal feelings throughout the training sessions was um, just overall excitement, it was joy, um, you know, high powered, energetic. You kind of turn it on, is what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you trying to say I don't have it on? You don't. You don't. <laughs> I'm not impressed. <laughs> Give me one thing. How y'all doing? My name is Roderick Samuels. I am one of the uh, educators for the Shop Talk Initiative. My favorite phrase, or one of my favorite phrases is powering up. I get me two Red Bulls, two honey buns, and I just get I just get crazy with it because our mission is to keep it exciting. We got to educate as well as entertain. And you know what we do? We keep it thorough. Every trip, okay? Thorough. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We promise to spread the word about colon cancer. When I was in Greenville, uh, I went into a salon and we was talking. When I went there, they didn't know nothing about me. I introduced myself to talk about shop talk movement and colon cancer. Well, she started crying because her great grandmama died from colon cancer and her mom, and her grandma did. So she was very passionate about it. And that's just one of the many stories we get. I truly believe that we are helping to save lives. I truly believe that it's starting a, a discussion in the salons and in the barbershops that was you know, a bit of taboo before. I mean, to talk about, you know, bowel movements, to talk about your colon, to talk about whether or not you've gotten screened. Surprisingly enough, they've been very receptive to talking about colon cancer and screening. I was kind of apprehensive in the beginning, but um, it was just, you know, the, co the conversation was softened by the rapport that I have with my clients. At first, I think it was, for me, it was sort of, it was hard because I'm a nervous type of person and I was like, okay, how are they going to feel about me asking them about their colon and um, how they actually um, have bowel movements. But I found the easier, I found the easier way by putting on the DVD and letting them actually engage in the uh, DVD. And once they get to the back, I would actually sit down and talk, talk to them. And they were very, um, very receptive and they asked questions and the American Cancer Society gave us a lot of brochures. If it was something that I didn't know, I referred them over to the 1-800 number. And the main thing was not just to give them the information, but to get them to promise that they would actually get tested. And we've had, a, had the opportunity to get um, almost 500 uh, promise cards filled out. And they're excited and they tell their friends about it. And oh man. I promise to get screened for colon cancer. I promise to spread the word about colon cancer. These uh, neat little cards here, you've been seeing the stylus and the clients hold up. It's the promise card. Um, and what this promise card um, is, this is a power packed little trifold here. Um, stylists are able to open it up, uh, they're able to talk to their clients about the information that's in here. And, but the most important part is this last little page, uh, it actually says make the promise. We're asking them to go back into their salons, to hand these cards you know, to their clients, and then ask them to make that personal commitment. And with this information, uh, the University of South Carolina's Cancer Research Department, they're able to, to go through all of the information, they're able to correlate it. Our goal is to target over 100 stylists, and each stylist can touch up to 100 people. So if you do the math, that's 100 folks, 100 stylists and 100 barbers total that we're uh, working with and educating about colorectal cancer. And you multiply that times 100 people that they can reach. I mean, that's like 10,000 people that can hear the colorectal cancer message. This is something that we can do something about. We can stop people from dying from, from colorectal cancer. And so ACS has really put a lot of emphasis and a lot of resources into making people more aware about colorectal cancer. Discussing their health issues with them, encouraging them to go see their health um, care providers. I mean, it's just getting in their business. Mm -hmm. um, and on this journey, I have learned to really don't stop caring for people. Really uh, finding my passion for uh, community and people, um, being an asset to my community um, as well as the state of South Carolina, being able to teach and educate everyone um, on a large scale. That was very special to me. 
This concept, this innovative concept, this grassroots concept is helping to save the lives of the African American community. Um, and it's been phenomenal. We're excited about what this means. We're excited to receive the feedback. And, and I believe that the sky is not even the limit for the Shop Talk movement. I promise to spread the word about colon cancer. I promise to get screened for colon cancer. I promise to continue to spread the word about colorectal cancer. Some things are easy to talk about. Colon cancer is not one of those things. Be bold. Talk to someone about being screened for colon cancer. Spreading knowledge and increasing awareness is the beginning point to ending this deadly and extremely preventable disease. Statistics show that the mortality rate among African Americans is higher than any other race. The Shop Talk movement is just a glimpse into what one community can do. Everyday people with a common vision and mission talking about colon cancer. Be bold. Make the promise today. We promise.